On Tuesday, I submitted articles of impeachment against the U.S. Attorney for the District of Columbia, Matthew Graves. Graves is refusing to do his job. He must be impeached. On Tuesday, I also submitted articles of impeachment against FBI Director Christopher Wray. Wray is using his extremely powerful law enforcement role for political purposes. He must be impeached. Yesterday morning, I introduced articles of impeachment against Attorney General Merrick Garland. Garland's total politicization and perversion of the American justice system has only one remedy, impeachment. Yesterday, I also introduced articles of impeachment against Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. Mayorkas stated under oath that we have operational control of our borders he lied to the American people, he lied under oath, and he has blatantly violated his oath of office. Secretary Mayorkas must be impeached. It is with the highest amount of solemnity, <laughs> solemnity that I announce my intention to introduce articles of impeachment today on the head of this America at Last executive branch, the President of the United States, Joseph Robinette Biden. Biden has blatantly violated his constitutional duty, and he is a direct threat to our national security. Therefore, Joseph Robinette Biden is unfit to serve as the President of the United States and must be impeached. Matthew Graves, Christopher Ray, Merrick Garland, Alejandro Mayorkas, and Joe Biden are all corrupt and unfit to hold office, and they all must be impeached. This concludes Impeachment Week. <laughs> the last two minutes of video were brought to you by the word impeached. That lovely lady is the bottom of the barrel that the United States government has to offer. Georgia Rep Marjorie Taylor Greene just having herself a week trying to impeach anything in Washington that isn't nailed down, apparently. Nope, you heard that right, folks. The woman that once claimed that Jewish space lasers existed and were starting forest fires is now asking for the President of the United States of America to be impeached, along with several other high-ranking members of the United States government. Now listen, once you get past the shock of hearing the woman that once denied the Holocaust ever took place, introduced articles of impeachment for the President, the Director of the FBI, and the Secretary of Homeland Security, I think it's pretty easy to see that this is all bullshit and just something else to distract you. Which, let's face it, Marjorie Taylor Greene does a hell of a job of doing. And I know, I know, you're gonna find this hard to believe, but this stupid fucking press conference about the stupid impeachments wasn't the only news Marjorie Taylor Greene made this week. Here she is trying to muster every brain cell she has in that Geico caveman noggin of hers and trying to take over the moment with Rep Jamal Bowman and in the process actually gets schooled really badly. Oh, him. Save the party. Yeah, the party's hanging by a thread. We gotta, we gotta get rid of Biden. The party's hanging by a thread. You gotta save the party. Listen, no more QAnon. No more madness. No more dead ceiling nonsense. Come on now. Save the party. Save America. Save the children. Do something about guns. Right. Come on. Invest in education. Save the the border is the border is what Trump left. Hey, where are all the kids? About? Where are all the migrant what children? Kids? You guys We're have lost them. We're accepting them. We love no, them. No, you've lost we them. We love the There's migrant children. There's tens of thousands missing. We've lost missing. them. You can't find them. What, what are you That's talking about? That's your administration. What are you talking about? Yeah, migrant yeah. children are missing. You don't know the news. No, no, we don't know the news. Oh, you're sadly missing before. Hey, let me tell you something, Jamal. Listen, I need you to save the party. You should pay attention. Can't wait to go. Save the party. Can't wait to go. Can't wait to go. You gotta love AOC coming in at the end there telling Jamal Bowman that she's not worth his time. And if anybody knows about Marjorie Taylor Greene not being worth the time, energy, or effort, it's AOC. More on that to come. Here's Marjorie Trader Greene after that interaction talking about the day that Donald Trump was indicted in New York City and we got to see that glorious video of Marjorie Taylor Greene getting her ass run out. As you're going to see, not only is she now claiming that her life was in danger, but she's also upset that Jamal Bowman, being the great politician that he is, took advantage of the situation and used his voice. Jamal Bowman led a mob down there in front of that courthouse and my life was in danger. I had, I had to have so much security, there was not enough. I was swarmed, it's all on video, everyone can see this. But I will tell you what's on video, is Jamal Bowman shouting at the top of his lungs, 
cursing. And here she is having the incredible audacity to somehow claim that because Jamal Bowman correctly characterized her as a white supremacist, or at least a white supremacist sympathizer, that is somehow equal to is if somebody came up to Jamal Bowman and called him the N-word. Calling me a white supremacist, which I take great offense to, that is like calling a person of color the N-word. Calling me a white supremacist is equal to that, and that is wrong. Is it wrong, though, Maj? I'm pretty sure you're hoping that everybody forgets about this moment. They're going on about Russia, and Vladimir Putin is Hitler, and they say that's not a good thing. And Can we give a round of applause for Russia? We are honored, we are humbled and excited to welcome to the stage right now for our first speech, and we'd love to get to know her much better. I think this is going to be the beginning of something great. The representative from Georgia, Marjorie Taylor Greene. That vile racist is Nick Fuentes, you know, the guy that had dinner with Donald Trump and Kanye West. And, and in case you didn't know, you know what he stands for, Here's the homework that Marjorie Taylor Greene should have done and probably did do before speaking at that event. You know, they say about America, they say diversity is our strength. You got to recognize the fact that this is a godless country. I hate it. Black people are violent, you know. Send the military into these black neighborhoods, make the streets safe. They'll complain about it. It, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Not with the Jim Crow stuff. Who cares? Oh, they had to drink out of a different water fountain. Big fucking deal. Russia. Can we give a round of applause for Russia? The fundamentals of our worldview. A society where boys and girls get married as teenagers and start having kids. And they have big families and a high birth rate. We live in a big Middle Eastern bazaar. We're a big fucking Middle Eastern bazaar with people sitting on blankets and selling cockroaches on sticks. And white people are done being bullied. Trump's gotta get in there and never leave. Elect Trump one more time and then stop having elections. That piece of shit right there is who Marjorie Taylor Greene, a United States representative, chose to speak for. And only after the overwhelming backlash did Marjorie Taylor Greene cut her ties to Nick Fuentes and his despicable organization. You know what, Marge? Spam me your bullshit outrage about being called a white supremacist, okay? And then the deranged, sycophantic subordinate of Donald Trump actually had the audacity to say this in her bullshit press conference announcing those stupid fucking impeachments. Out in the real world, where American taxpayers live, employees are fired when they are corrupt or aren't adequately serving their employer or purposely destroying a country. Well, Mudge, the fact that you're actively trying to destroy this country has become ridiculously apparent to the majority of this country, luckily. But I don't think there's too many CEOs of many corporations out there that would want their employees acting like this either. You remember when you chased down and harassed one of the survivors of the Parkland school shooting which saw 17 kids die? Because I sure as shit do. Why kids? You know, if school if school zones were protected by with security guards with guns, there would be no mass shootings at schools. Do you know that? The best way to stop a bad guy with a gun is with a good guy with a gun. That was David Hogue right there. David, we saw him inside the Senate building. He had 30, 30 um, appointments where he ran around and got to talk to senators. I got to talk to none. None. He had media coverage all over the place. I had zero. Guess what? I'm a gun owner. I'm an American citizen. And I have nothing but this guy with his George Soros funding and his major liberal funding has got everything. Now, if you're a sane person, you couldn't possibly imagine speaking to or about anybody that just survived a school shooting that way. And who the hell can forget this moment where Marjorie Taylor Greene and her goons are yelling at AOC's office through the mail slot. You know, because that's normal. Asia Cortez, she went and hid. She couldn't take it. I'm looking for Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's office. Somebody had a great, great point that um, AOC, she might be in daycare because uh, she has a child. Oh, we can leave her a note. This is like so elementary. <laughs> this looks like a progressive feminist, um, maybe Planned Parenthood, okay. or Narol came and visited AOC and all sense. wrote her notes. No, gonna put... We're going to ask her if Common Core Math helped get her through college. What? They locked the door. Wait, what? Excuse me, 
Attorney, I'm an American citizen. I pay taxes. I'd like to speak to they locked the door. speak to someone in Congress. Hello. Oh my gosh. Hello, Acacia. Uh, staff members for Acacia, we'd like to. Uh, this is, we are your employers. We are here to uh, There's lights on in there. inspect the on? office. Oh, okay. Could we? Could we please come in? This is immoral. This is immoral. This is. I'm so offended. Uh, I'm. Hello? I'm offended. Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. I'm an American citizen. I pay your salary through the taxes that you collect from me through the IRS because I'm a tax-paying citizen of the United States. I'm a woman, I'm a female business owner, and I'm proud to be an American woman. And I do not support your socialist policies, and I do not support your murderous abortion policies. As a mother of three children, I'm appalled at New York's law for abortion, and it needs to end and it needs to stop now. You're bringing God's judgment on our country, and I'm against it, as well as my friends. So you need to stop being a baby and stop locking your door and come out and face the American citizens that you serve. If you want to be a big girl, you need to get rid of your diaper and come out and be able to talk to the American citizens instead of us having to use a flap, a little flap. It's kind of like hers. It's kind Sad. Of flappy. She's like, she keeps flapping her gums. This oh, is like, flappy, is, flappy. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, each this, one this, is is this is like child games. This is. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Ocasio Cortez. Bye-bye, baby. Bye-bye, baby. Bye bye, little baby girl. Now, I'm not an overpaid CEO of some huge corporation, but I'm guessing right now that's not the type of behavior that they're looking for. So, when you hear all these articles of impeachment being thrown around, let's not forget who's doing the throwing. Because these are not serious people, but unfortunately, they do have a serious impact on today's society. Which is all the more reason we need to keep calling out the bullshit, keep calling out the hypocrisy, keep sticking together, keep watching Midas Touch, tell them Boston Brian sent you, click the subscribe button, click the like button, it's free. Let's go. We got to fight these people together. If we don't do it, nobody else will. And now is the time. So let's go. At Midas Touch, we are unapologetically pro-democracy and we demand justice and accountability. That's why we're spreading our message to Convict 45. That's right. Gear up right now with your Convict 45 tees and pins at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.